Another way that we can categorise particles is as hadrons, leptons and gauge bosons. So leptons are particles which do not experience the strong nuclear force. So some examples of leptons that you've already seen are the electron and the electron neutrino. All leptons are fermions, that is they all have a half integer spin quantum number. Hadrons, on the other hand, are particles that do experience the strong nuclear force. Now, hadrons can be either fermions or bosons. So when we have a hadron, which is also a fermion, it's known as a baryon. So neutrons and protons are examples of baryons. When we have a hadron, which is also a boson, it's known as a meson. So possibly you've heard of pi mesons before. They're a type of meson. Gauge bosons are the particles which mediate the forces. So the photon is an example of a gauge boson. This mediates the electromagnetic force. Now, as well as these categories, we, can, we also have particles and antiparticles. Particles and antiparticles are the same apart from their charge. So an example of a particle-antiparticle pair that you've heard of before is the electron and the positron. So there's no really great way to say which type of particle is going to be the particle and which one's going to be the antiparticle. What we use is the particle which we find most in the universe around us is known as the particle and then the particle which is identical but with an opposite charge is known as the antiparticle. So because there's lots of electrons around us, electrons are particles and their opposite, the positron, is an antiparticle. So when a particle and an antiparticle meet together, they can annihilate each other to produce energy. We can use Einstein's equation E equals mc squared to work out how much energy. So when an electron meets a positron, for example, they annihilate and form two photons.